Why is capturing rain frowned upon? One reason is that you're picturing something different than the law is envisioning. We're not just talking about a single home setting up a barrel or something. The law is set up to prevent a farmer from setting up some massive capture system across huge swaths of land. The Ogallala Aquifer supplies a massive portion of the country with water, and if rain started getting captured on an industrial level rather than being able to enter the groundwater, shit would be really bad, both on an environmental and practical level. It really depends on where you are. In Minnesota, for instance, they encourage people to get rain barrels to catch downspout water from a roof, and use that water for garden purposes. They even have discounts for buying barrels designed for the purpose with all the connection pieces you need, and overflow hoses at the state fair. Of course, we also have an effort to get people to take out lawns and plant more native wildflowers, including rain garden spaces, and some of these rain gardens are built into the city strip between the sidewalk and the street in residential neighborhoods. It depends on the environment obviously it will matter more in some places than others. It really does disrupt the water flow if you start taking water and diverting it somewhere else. Imagine an extreme scenario where an entire town is doing this, and the runoff used to flow into a river that now has less water because it's being captured upstream. The problem isn't one guy with a bucket under his gutter collecting water. But you won't be able to collect enough water for sprinklers, household use etc. just by capturing the water that hits your roof. For example, you need to imagine some real irrigation trenches to get water like that, and often this is what people are opposed to and what regulations are designed to stop. At least that's what I'm getting from your question I'm not aware of any real pushback against just normally collecting roof runoff besides stuff like making sure it's decontaminated etc. You're the governor of a desert state. You have nobody living there. You need farmers to come out and buy your land and grow crops because you need an economy to support your state. There is enough water to support the crops. But that water must travel across lots of land far surrounding the farmland itself. In other words, a one-acre farm requires access to water that will travel across 100 acres. If a farmer buys that one acre, and later on someone else buys those 100 acres and prevents water from moving over it, that first farmer will become destitute and his farm will fail. The farmers will not move to your state without a guarantee that the water flow into their property will not be impeded by future buyers of surrounding land. So you create laws making it illegal for future buyers to interfere with the first farmer's water rights. This is unique to desert-based states. In wetter states, water rights are the opposite. Water is a common enemy, and I can do anything to get water off of my land even if it floods my neighbor's land with exceptions. This is a repo spot, don't feed it. Here in UK that's encouraged, a fake it's only frowned upon in certain drought victim states in the US. Rainwater lands, evaporates, collects in the atmosphere and forms new rain clouds. If you collect it all, no new rain comes, the drought gets worse. It isn't. I think your question needs to be expanded to include your location. In Australia, collection of rainwater can actually be mandatory in residential construction. My house has a 5,000 litre 1,300 USG rainwater tank connected to the roof guttering. It has an integral pump and is connected to an underground irrigation system for my garden. Yes, in some states, it's illegal but not in many. The only state I know of for sure where it's illegal is Colorado. And part of the reason is because there, the law isn't only concerned with individual homeowners filling a few rain barrels when it rains, they're concerned with asshole ranchers who own thousands of acres literally preventing any water from making its way downstream. When I grew up, we had rain barrels to collect rainwater that we would use for non-consumable use like cooking, drinking, etc. Saved us money cleaning the car, or deck, or anything else. 
Apparently, enough people were using this and not city water, so the city began to discuss ways to prevent people from doing this as it was causing a drop in city revenues. I don't think anything came of it, I just remember the debates, and various city officials making up reasons to justify their position that we should be paying the city for water. Colorado changed the rain barrel laws on the books. Due to many court cases the rain legally belongs to those downstream. So tweaking the laws about the rain barrels makes sense. Though we are limited on size and numbers. And the most common problem is if the barrels aren't maintained correctly and become mosquito breeding grounds. So several reasons. I do have my rain barrels from after the Colorado law changed and regularly clean and inspect them. In tropical part of the world, rainwater tank controls are to limit mosquito breeding locations. Depending on the area, there could be health risks on natural collection practices, such as Legionnaire's disease. Registered or permitted systems get tested regularly. I have no fucking clue where you're from, but in my area it's the only way most people are capable of surviving. It's mostly an environmental thing, and like with most environmental issues, there's going to be more complex effects. Capturing rain seems simple until people take it too far and start hoarding rainwater. Then, streams and groundwater are supplied with less water that cascades into droughts and streams drying up. These laws aren't made for one person who just wants like a barrel of water, it's for the selfish morons who don't understand how easy it is to disrupt the environment. Theoretically it's to replenish groundwater, but they do nothing about the ones really wasting water. Water parks, water intensive cash crops, golf courses, rich people with private Olympic sized pools and massive green lawns, and companies like Nestle are sucking aquifers and springs dry at millions of times the rate the average private citizen does, because the man wants you to be reliant. Capturing rain is generally accepted. It's when you go overboard, or when everyone starts going overboard. Because the government can't tax it 